Hey everyone, my name is Alexa and today I'm going to show you two different ways that you can start seeds that are really easy and I hope you want to try it yourself. So you want to get yourself some kind of potting mix. Um, ideally it would be for indoor containers. I mistakenly got outdoor container bag but that's okay. I'm still going to use this. I'm going to use this um, Organic Plus version and that's what I'm going to be putting into my pots. The two different ways I'm going to show you today we're going to talk about winter sowing in milk jugs, and I'm going to show you about starting seeds in little containers like this. So you'll need some kind of container or a milk jug or a plastic water jug, tape, something to cut with, five scissors and a knife, and then of course your seeds, a trusty garden kitty helper. Once you have your potting mix, you're gonna take your little container and it can be a cup or a yogurt cup or any kind of small plastic cup. It doesn't have to necessarily be a garden cup. You just wanna make sure there are holes on the bottom and you're just gonna fill it with the soil and kind of pack it in lightly, just like that. And if there's any big chunks in your potting mix like this, go ahead and set those to the side. I have these nice trays that I got from a place called Bootstrap Farmer and they are really easy to set my potting cups in just like that. Kind of holds them in place really nice. And so for these containers I'm going to be sowing onion seeds because it is still January, almost February, and onions take 110 days to mature. So I want to get my onion seed started really early and these ones I'm actually going to be keeping in the house. So I just take a nice handful of these onion seeds and they're pretty small. You can kind of see there how big these are. And I'm just going to take a pinch, little pinch worth and just sprinkle it right there on top, just like that. And try to evenly disperse them. Pinch. And I say there's probably about 10, maybe 12 seeds that I put in here. And I'm not too concerned with putting a lot of onion seeds in one of these little cups because onions are okay with their friends close by when they're really tiny. And I'm just lightly patting these in. Onion seeds are so small that you don't want to push them down very deep. They need to kind of be towards the top of the soil. And then I take just a little handful of that potting mix and I'm just going to lightly kind of cover them on top. Just a little, not a lot. I'm not even putting an inch worth, just, just a light sprinkling on top. Tap them down again. That's it. And I always recommend putting a tag in your pots because if you're starting lots of plants from seeds, you will forget what these are. Next, we're going to do the winter sowing method. So you're going to need a milk jug or a water jug, some kind of plastic container, and make sure you wash it out. Uh, we don't need the lid, so you can discard the lid. And first thing we're gonna do is put some holes in the bottom because we wanna make sure that any water that gets in here can drain out. All right, so I have some good holes in here. Now we're gonna cut around this whole edge here and make kind of like a flap. So about halfway. Now my milk jug is cut, but I left about a two inch section here that's still connected. So we kind of have this flap now that we can work with. Rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> and now we're going to fill the bottom half with the potting mix. So I'm going to be sowing these milkweed seeds. Milkweed is a perennial flower that butterflies absolutely love. And this type of seed requires something called cold stratification, 
which means the seeds have to go through freezing temperatures for like four to six weeks um, in order for them to actually sprout or germinate. And so with winter sowing, when we do these little milk jugs, I'm gonna leave this outside actually, and it will get freezing through the months of uh, January and February, which will give uh, enough time for these seeds to get, get cold and then sprout in the spring. Enough with these seeds. Again, we're just gonna take a good size pinch and sprinkle them right on top of this soil here. And I'm gonna do a generous sowing in this because my plan will be after these sprout in the springtime, I will separate the plants and transplant them further apart in the garden. But this lease gives them a good head start and I have a little more control of where these plants will be going out. I'm just gonna take another small handful of soil and sprinkle it right on top. I'm not pushing anything down because I don't want those seeds to go far down into the soil, they will get lost down there and not have enough energy to sprout. Lightly tap it in. Now we're gonna close this whole thing up. Be any type of really thick tape, it can be duct tape, clear tape, whatever tape you have on hand. I'm gonna write on a label what this is so I don't forget. And stick that in there. I'm gonna write it on the outside. this is sealed and it can go outside. So now I'm just going to leave that jug outside with the top open so water and snow and everything else can get in there and I'm just going to forget about it. And the nice thing with the winter sowing method is that you don't have to think about watering the plants inside. You don't have to worry about the lights or have any type of special light over them. Those plants are going to sprout and germinate when they are naturally designed to. And you can do this winter sowing method with basically any type of seeds, even tomato and pepper seeds that require warm weather to germinate. It's just, if you start them now, they're probably just gonna sit dormant for a long time and start to sprout in like May. So it's okay, it's a waiting game, but at least it's a good way to get your seeds started. And um, while things are still kind of calm through the winter, you can get all your seeds prepared and then they will just start to germinate at the right time for those specific plants. Now, these seeds that I started in um, my seed starting cups and trays here, these are gonna go into the house with me where I am going to put them on my grow station and I have um, an LED fluorescent light that I keep over top of these. And we will also be growing some of our home garden vegetable seedlings indoors to get a head start on some things that I do want to have ready to transplant in early April for my very early spring garden, even here in zone six, Northeast Ohio. So if you would like to learn more on either topics of starting seeds in containers such as these for indoor seed starting or the winter sowing method, I have two very in-depth videos that I will link down below in the description that you can check out that are more in-depth step-by-step on these two seed starting methods. Either way, both are great options for even new gardeners who are just getting started on learning to grow plants from seed. Make sure to stay tuned with me this entire garden season as we start our gardens from seed, transplant everything out into the garden in the spring and summer months, harvesting garden tours. I'm here to take you through the entire garden season, so make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can learn all about your home garden. Also check out bloomandwiltgardens.com where I have my 2024 Great Lakes Veggie Gardener Guide and Planner, a 12 month guide that tells you every single month of the year what you're gonna be planning for, planting, pruning, picking, and preserving. So make sure to check out that guide if you want all the details on what to do to get started in your home gardens each month of the 2024 year. Happy garden season, friends. We're here.